Welcome back, pen pals. Summer is here, and so are the hottest writing instruments in our monthly Top 5 Pen video for June 2021. Let's check them out. This month, several new and exciting writing instruments arrived at Goldspot Pens, including an exclusive design that we'll mention in this list. Also, we celebrated National Ballpoint Day on June 10th with a week-long sale. Last, we said goodbye to one of the most successful design collaborations in our company's history. But first, here's a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during June of 2021. This isn't our personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five on our list is the Narwhal Key West Fountain Pen. This pen is actually a holdover from last month as it occupied the five spot in May's top five list. This is Narwhal's first cartridge converter filling fountain pen. It's also their first super sparkly pen. They are tropically themed to match with the nautical theme behind Narwhal pens. Uh, their glittering, sparkling resin uh, is available in either two colors, which is Key Largo Blue, which is this beautiful blue with blue sparkle here. And then you have Isla Morada Gold, which actually is a gold base, but has almost like a rainbow of sparkles that go throughout the entire cap and barrel of the pen. The Key West has a traditional cigar-shaped profile with tapered ends. It has a decorated metal cap band here uh, that has uh, a nice like engraving that goes around here and it also has metal section threads uh, which then also reveals a metal section that's inside here which then attaches the converter. The converter might be familiar to you. It looks a lot like a Lamy LZ26 or LZ28 type converter of which these are also compatible. It's also international uh, compatible as well. So despite it being like polished to a high sheen it does have like a little bit of like some texture to it as well, which feels uh, very interesting and, and has a good hold in hand. The number six size stainless steel nib is available in either medium or fine point. It's made in-house by Narwhal. And you can see in a performance of both of these nib sizes in the Key West review that we did earlier in the month. Each Key West fountain pen is included in a leather pen case slash envelope. Uh, sort of container here. It's made out of recycled leather and that pouch is then included in a drawer type box uh, with the silver foil narwhal logo on here along with some uh, planets and some bubbles I suppose. Uh, then you have the narwhal brand on the side here. At $55 each the narwhal Key West is a great buy for a sparkly pen that will give you a nice number six size stainless steel nib cartridge converter system. I mean, it's it's really does look like a pen that is much, much fancier than what it sells for. So um, that's why it ends up here on the number five, you know, $55, number five spot on the list. And you could find them readily available at goldspot.com. At number four on our list is the Leonardo Momento Zero Mango Fountain Pen. This pen single-handedly jumped on the four spot I think I might have to thank Brad Dowdy of The Pen Addict for mentioning it, I think, on his podcast in the, uh, during the month of June here. And uh, because it, it, it has really leapt uh, off the shelves. And it, I mean, it's really easy to see why. I mean, I know Brad loves orange and this is a pen for people who love the color orange because uh, it's, it's again, one of Leonardo's strengths is making beautifully uh, designed acrylic pens, and this certainly qualifies for that. They refreshed the entire Memento Zero line earlier this year with nine new colors. Um, well, actually, they're not new. Like, some of them were continuations of the previous line, but um, there were two new spaghetti resins that were included, which were plum and seaweed. This is the third spaghetti resin, and what do I mean by spaghetti resin is that um, if you turn the pen in the light, You'll see bands of acrylic here, and that's actually pieces of acrylic sheets kind of combined and pressed together, and then they're cut at a perpendicular angle so that you would then just see like the sheets kind of like at a cross section, almost like, you know, you're not using the material going lengthwise, you're going crosswise. That's what really gives it those striations. And then there's like little areas like here, um, which really I think made the Hawaii style very popular is that you would have to see some random areas which kind of look like 
little seashells that kind of get strewn about in the material here. So it offers a unique experience with each of the pens that you buy because they're all unique. Like they all have unique patterns and unique amounts of chatoyance and translucency and those little spots of other pieces of acrylic coming through here. So quite a complex and beautiful pen to uh, to really enjoy. With all the new Memento Zero pens introduced in 2021, each pen is available in three different trim styles. So this I have here is the gold. There's also the black trim and the silver trim. And already at this point, the black trim sold out, which kind of looks like you know, a very darker version of, of this, but not quite like blacked out, like not a stealthy black sort of finish, but um, does have like a nice, very like Halloween sort of look. So if you enjoy that kind of style, that's what the orange with black trim would kind of give for you. The Momento Zero 2021 edition is actually part of a larger changeover where Leonardo is moving from Bach to Yovo nib. So each Momento Zero pen has got a number six Yovo nib on it now. Now, why do they do that? better quality control, also the PVD finishing on the nibs, especially like the black or the rose gold, are gonna give you more durability over time. So you could put any ink in this and you're not gonna have to worry about the finish coming off. The Yovo number six size stainless steel nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 millimeter stub nib. Unfortunately, the Bach and Yovo nibs are not interchangeable between different models as the housings are incompatible with each other. So if you do have an older Leonardo pen that was produced 2020 and earlier, you couldn't, let's say, purchase a Yovo nib and then just easily replace it. You would have to replace the entire grip section. The Leonardo Memento Zero fills by cartridge or converter. Both are international style. This is a screw-in converter, of which actually could be filled as you would a normal cartridge converter by unscrewing the section from the barrel or you can opt to fill the pen by unscrewing the blind cap and then functioning the converter as you would a piston knob. In addition to the Yovo nibs, the new Momento Zeros can be identified by seeing the three band clips that are here on the cap and also the thinner wheel clip uh, that you would normally find on the Momento Zero Grande or the Ferrari Grandes. Each Momento Zero pen is packaged in a box like you see here. So unfortunately, there's a few of these Momento Zeros that are already sold out in different nib sizes, and I think the black trim is sold out right now at the moment. But we are expecting more to come in from Leonardo, hopefully sometime in July. So uh, if you do see on the website, you go take a look for the Mango, you see it for $1.99 is the price for the steel nib, and it's unfortunately out of stock in the nib that you like or in the trim that you prefer, just sign up for an in-stock notification and we'll let you know as soon as they come in from Italy. And there you go, is your number four pen of June, 2021. Next up on our list, occupying the third spot for the second month in a row is the Sailor Pro Gear British Racing Green. Originally, we launched this pen back in October of 2020 it sold out pretty quickly in both the Pro Gear Slim and Pro Gear Regular sizes. And then we decided with so much demand for the Pro Gear Regular and that size selling out first, let's replenish this Pro Gear Regular so that it meets with the demand of our uh, fountain pen customers and collectors. So this is a Gold Spot exclusive limited production that is totally up to us whether or not we're going to be continuing with it, um, but we wanted to satisfy an unmet demand for particularly the 21 karat gold nib Pro Gear regular design. It is inspired by the iconic national racing color of Britain, which is this dark emerald green, and then also paired with a translucent green on both the finial section and the top finial here on the cap. And to match it all up in a very classic car kind of way, we have rhodium plated appointments. You have a rather thick cap band that's here, the nice uh, tension fixed clip, and the Sailor medallion, uh, the Sailor anchor logo medallion that's at the top of the cap here. And then to top things off, the, uh, the main reason that this pen is such a very highly desirable pen from a fountain pen enthusiast standpoint is the Sailor 21 karat gold nib, uh, which is then rhodium finished uh, to match the trims of the pen. So this pen is available in seven different nib sizes. Usually with most pens, you would, let's say with the Narwhal, for example, we were looking at earlier, you just have two nib sizes, but Sailor prides themselves on 
their ability to manufacture a world-class writing experience through their nib. So we offer this pen in extra fine, fine, medium fine, medium, broad, zoom, and music. You would have a wide variety of different nib styles to go with, including some of the finest nibs that you've ever written with ever. I mean, it does have a good amount of feedback because you are writing with essentially like a very tight needle point type of nib. Uh, but for those who just like writing with, let's say a fine point, maybe a medium is more better suited for you because sailors do run a little bit smaller in size than their other European counterparts. Um, or if you're looking for something that's like a stub, you could go with the music. Uh, if you're looking for something that really gives you something different depending upon what angle that you like writing with, then a zoom would be kind of cool because you could write more like a, uh, let's say a medium point like this, and then a double broad if you write with the pen more acutely to the paper. You can find all of these different videos that we have demonstrating the Sailor nibs uh, on our YouTube channel. So if you're in more interested in that, we'll have a link to that um, a little bit later on. Each British Racing Green pen is included in this Sailor Blue gift box here. It includes the Sailor warranty, converter, and cartridges that are bestowed here underneath the platform. And just to note, I did mention this in a previous video, but the Pro Gear regulars are actually labeled Pro Gear Slim on the box. This is not our doing. This is not trying to do bait and switch or anything like that. This is just our, uh, the manufacturers is putting the wrong uh, description on there. But the part number is right. The pen inside is right. You do get a 21 karat gold nib. So everything's right. It's just that the labeling on here says slim. It's really supposed to say regular or nothing at all. So as you might be familiar with the other new releases that Sailor has introduced in 2021, their Pro Gear regular sizes have kind of jumped up a bit in price there. Um, they're north of $400 retail. And, uh, but what we were able to do is with this, since this was introduced last year when we reordered it and received more this year, we were still able to keep the old price for Pro Gear regular with this edition, and that is sold for a retail price of $390. However, we have it on sale for $312. So while it's still available, and I think we're pretty much half sold out on these, uh, the British Racing Green is a great pickup for those that are car lovers, vintage, uh, anybody who loves a beautiful writing experience with a highly precise nib, there's your number three for June of 2021, the Sailor Pro Gear British Racing Green. At number two on our list is the Retro 51 Tornado F14 Tomcat Rollerball. This is the latest Gold Spot Pens retail exclusive pen. It's built for those who have a need, a need for speed. It is a pen that is crafted after the F14 Tomcat fighter plane, of course, is acid etched with a lot of contours and sleek design elements that you would find on the F-14 Tomcat, also with painted on military uh, markings and insignias, and then you have a blue nose cone that then is directly right after the cockpit there. Uh, then you have the top disc, which uh, mirrors a couple of the star and bar graphics that are at the top of the pen here. Uh, so you have a yellow banner here with the blue and uh, white sh uh, stars that are on top of that there. The silver parts of the pen are finished in white nickel with a matched clip and neural twist top here. And this is an open numbered limited edition. So the edition number is etched at the very top ring here where you would normally see proof because this is an artist proof. Uh, the edition number would be etched there. The edition number is not going to have an ending because like I said, it's open. So when we do sell out of the F14, it is up to our discretion then to continue on with it if we can. So it's not necessarily like of, let's say 700 pieces or whatever. So we can continue onwards uh, afterwards uh, of selling this pen, which is something that we wanted to do because we knew that this was going to be a pen of extremely broad appeal and did not want to necessarily limit it to a certain finite quantity uh, and then people would miss out on it, which is also the reason why we established a limit of two pens per person, one for you and one for your wingmate. So in, in addition to the pen also looking awesome, it writes awesome thanks to the Retro 51 Ref 5P capless rollerball refill. It's a very wet and broad sort of line that you would get with this. It comes in black ink, but it does it is also available in a variety of different colors. Uh, they are also compatible with the Schmidt capless rollerball refill, which is the shorter one, about three and three quarters inches in length. Um, or it's also compatible with the Easy Flow 9000, which is essentially a Parker style refill. So you could find all of those different types of refills at goldspot.com. 
don't forget to keep the spring, otherwise the pen's not gonna work. Or you could also try out a hack that you could find on our YouTube channel on how to fill your capless rollerball refill with fountain pen ink. It's a really cool hack, you should try it out. Uh, so for $56, this is a instant collectible type item. If you have all the other Warbirds in Retro 51's collection, um, this is an instant ad. It's actually the second uh, modern airplane design that they've done besides the Under the Radar, which was done after the SR-71 Blackbird. So uh, pretty cool to jump into the modern era of aviation and military planes to uh, feature something like the Tomcat. If you guys have any suggestions as to future planes, would love to hear it. Um, also too, is don't forget the matching rickshaw pen sleeve, which is sold separately um, and has the same design as the pen here. So you see this is a uh, Cordura nylon uh, exterior body and it's got a felt uh, polyester plush inside here, which is done in red. The pen itself fits in really nice and snugly. Uh, protects the finish with that nice plush interior. I think they actually suggest to put the pens in like this so that just in case you accidentally have the tip extended or if it accidentally leaks for some reason, it's not going to get in the bottom and then soak the bottom of your pen sleeve here. Uh, $24 for the pen sleeve. It's a great like package deal buying them both together if you'd like. It's made in the United States. It's made in San Francisco, stitched fresh from San Francisco and uh, matches this pen perfectly. And we also had a nice match here too with the uh, other Retro 51 uh, drop that happened earlier this month. This is the uh, Retro 51 Gnome Sweet Gnome Tornado Popper. It is a limited edition uh, of 1951 after, of course, the company. Uh, so 1951 pieces worldwide. We just have very few of these left, so I don't have one that's like out and so I could kind of show you. So Chris will show you some images that are uh, on there. He'll, you know, show them over me just yammering here. Uh, but this is also the, the same uh, manufacturer of the pen sleeve, which is Rickshaw. And uh, these are also, they're, they're not, while they're not limited, it's fun to have them uh, as a complementing item to then store your pen because your pen matches your pen case. So that's pretty cool. It's very unique. So this one has a nice green uh, polyester plush on the inside there. So soft. It's like a lucky rabbit's foot. So I wanted to mention this pen as well because it did come in pretty highly in our top five list. And it basically is like a five, let's say it's a top five number 2B, let's say. Um, so just to read you a little bit of like what we describe this pen as, the hidden world of the gnomes comes to life in the new Retro 51 Tornado Popper limited edition pen. The pen celebrates spring's magical return with blooming flowers wrapped around the sunny yellow printed barrel. Take a closer look and you'll find several friendly gnomes and adorable animals throughout the pattern. To complement the design, Retro paired this very colorful, magical barrel with chrome trims and a clip and nose cone. The top disc has a mushroom graphic, which I think completes everything in its very whimsical sort of manner. Each pen is individually engraved with the edition number on the top ring, and it also uses the same Ref 5P capless rollerball refill that you found in the uh, F14 here, or it could also use a Parker style refill, which is sold separately. And as you could see, it has a completely different matching commemorative tube than the F14 would. And then on top of that, it was just found out the other day that there's actually another kind of Willy Wonka-esque sort of thing that they incorporated with this release. And I mean that being that like, like last year they did the Gone Fishing with completely different, like kind of almost like proofs or uh, other colors of the fish that were just randomly thrown into the edition. One of our customers and friends, Neil Chernikov, found the only set so far uh, of this particular Green Thumbs edition, of which only 25 of the Gnome Sweet Gnome in green were made and then kind of just randomly assorted throughout the entire edition of 1951 pieces. So it's a pretty rare thing. Um, and it kind of has me feeling as though I should just try it out just to see if like I could get that Willy Wonka sort of luck here and just see if I could open this up and you know just maybe give you guys also a little bit of like ASMR at the same time too because it's pretty satisfying opening up one of these tubes for the first time. Each of the Retro 51 pens has like this you know sort of like shrink wrap you know plastic wrap over here but it's got this like this perforated line that you could just take up here.
and just like unwrap it. So pretty satisfying so far. So let's see if we could get some luck going here. Let's see. See what I did there? There's two pens in here. And one of them is the green one. That is, that is pretty cool. <laughs> so the green edition actually has a different uh, finial. It has the flamingo on here as opposed to the little mushroom top. And it, it has, of course, the alternate color palette. So you have green instead of yellow. You have the chrome is all the same with this edition. And uh, you actually do get two of them in the package for the price of one. You have here the green thumbs edition has come like with a little thing that's here that just explains that you've only got one of 25 that were in the entire batch. Um, so, I mean, honestly, what do I do with this now? Like I, it's out of the box. I guess that we could just give it to whoever orders it next. Uh, I mean, but like they were gonna have to be okay with the the fact that the, the shrink wrap's not on there anymore. But as you see here, it's, this is a very, very rare piece. Uh, it actually says AP on here. So the one that's the limited will actually have 335 of 1951. That, you know, is a standard edition, but this one will say AP on it. So awesome. You know, if it, <laughs> if it actually is available by the time that this video drops, you know, we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, that is your uh, Gnome Sweet Gnome and your Retro 51 uh, F14A Tomcat, both sharing the number two spot in our June 2021. And at number one on our list, returning to number one, is the Narwhal Original Peter Draws Demonstrator Fountain Pen, which was our exclusive collaboration that I mentioned at the top of the video with Peter Draws. And Peter Draws, if you're not familiar, has an awesome YouTube channel, almost 1 million subscribers, and mostly does lots of art, plays with fountain pens, plays, and is just a very, awesome eccentric kind of guy that you know you would just love just like kind of hanging out with him and just doing art with him uh, and that's what you do when you visit and subscribe to his channel is that you just essentially are just sitting there just watching him like make art and do some of the most fabulous like sort of abstract line drawings that you know you've ever seen so so we hooked up peter with narwhal pens and wanted to collaborate to make an addition that truly captured the essence and was inspired by his artwork. And that's what essentially we came out of this with the Peter Pen. The Peter Pen is a clear demonstrator pen and it has a black whirl that goes all throughout the cap, barrel, and section of the pen. Now initially we launched this pen a few months ago. The last batch came in early June and just sold out within hours. Every time that a batch of these pens arrived and was, was released, it pretty much sells out pretty quickly. I mean, Peter's got an amazing audience and a lot of people that are new to fountain pens or uh, just maybe artistic in general uh, who just support his channel and want to try something that he promotes and is totally enthusiastic with. Um, that was essentially the reason why this has been such a success is that, I mean, Narwhal pens themselves are really well-built pens and just to be able to get them in the hands of creative people and show their capabilities as a nice writing instrument or for drawing, illustrating, that sort of thing. Um, so besides the touch of having a, a, the custom acrylic made for him, uh, Peter also designed the top lid of this box, which is done with his iconic sort of illustrative style, very abstract, almost like floral or organic looking illustrations that he, do, that he does there. And then you have the Peter Draws Peter pen and then Narwhal in black and white instead of the usual color gradient that would be on there as well. So it's a two part box. I just wanted to show you one more detail about the box that's in here. And that is there's a, a piston wrench that's also included as well uh, so that you could disassemble the piston. And of course my usual disclaimers apply as far as like don't disassemble the piston every time that you clean the pen and uh, do it only if you notice that there's a performance issue with the, either the piston moving up and down or that the 
inner part of this very, very clear demonstrator body is like totally stained or gunked up with ink, then that's when you would want to do like a really big clean out type job to detail the whole entire thing. Now, speaking of the piston mechanism, uh, this is a brass piston mechanism with chrome uh, plating and it is a internal piston filling mechanism here that works very smoothly. It uh, fills up with a rather impressive amount of ink that's inside of this pen. So the amount of ink that you would include in this pen will last quite a long time, enough for many, many drawings or many pages of writing. Uh, and then you'll be very pleased to know that this pen writes with a nice nib that you would love to be able to write with for a long time. So it's a, the same stainless steel nib that's on the Key West, which is a number six size stainless steel nib made by Narwhal in either fine or medium point. The nibs, uh, they run pretty, a little bit on the thicker side. Uh, medium writes more like a broad and the fine writes more like a medium. Uh, both are really nice, smooth nibs and they just offer a lot of versatility and it's something different than what your normal run of the mill like Yovo or Bach nibs would, would offer. So uh, quite a, an impressive package overall uh, by Narwhal and, uh, and it's a fantastic uh, support of like one of the uh, great voices, I think, in the pen community uh, and in the illustrative community as well, in Peter Draws as well. And although this edition has completely sold out, uh, it will not be our last with Peter Draws, obviously. Like, we need to do something else with this guy. So stay tuned for something new that we're developing in the coming months. And uh, just to let you know, just to wrap it up on this pen, uh, this was available for $60. So the Narwhal Peter Draws Special Edition is completely sold out, but it is your number one of June, 2021. There you have it, pen friends, your top five pens of June, 2021. Coming up in July, we're looking forward to Leonardo's newest pen design called the Memento Magico. Few pieces of the Lamy 2000 limited edition brown are expected, as well as a new exclusive collaboration with an American pen manufacturer. The best way to find out about all these new pen releases is to sign up for our free weekly email newsletter by following the link in the video description. Relax poolside and check out this tropical themed Narwhal Key West fountain pen in our review here. If you need help, Picking out a nib size for your Sailor Pro Gear British Racing Green, check out the Sailor nib comparison video here. Subscribe to the Gold Spot Pens channel for more fine writing videos right over there. Thank you for watching and stay inky, my friends. Take care.